Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be talking about Turing test. What is Turing test? Turing test is a proposed idea by the popular scientist called Alan Turing. This happened in 1950 that he came up with this kind of a test. Okay, what does this test do? Okay, this is a simple test, all almost equivalent to our regular CAPTCHA. What does our CAPTCHA do? CAPTCHA stands for Computer Automated Turing Test to say computers and humans apart. Right? It's actually a Turing test. The objective of a CAPTCHA is to say what is the difference between a human and a bot. Right? That's exactly what a CAPTCHA does. Now, Turing test is also very similar. When a machine starts to in inhibit habits like a human and behaves like a human, there is a point in time where it is going to be really hard for someone to tell if it is a human or if it is a uh, machine. Right? When that state is achieved, that is when they say the machines have passed the Turing test, right? By far, there are instances in the recent past where uh, there are multiple occasions of uh, machines passing the Turing test, okay? Uh, so, in, in, in simplest terms, let me tell you, if a computer or a machine inhibits human-like behavior, very, very uh, detailed human-like behavior, the way we talk, the way we uh, uh, translate, the way, the way we communicate, the voice, the pitch, the skin tone, the you know, it, it can be anything, right? But let me tell you, if a computer or a machine is able to mimic that and make a human advocate or a human judge believe that it is a human who is talking to it, or if, if it is a human who is chatting with the particular judge and then he believes it is not the human who is chatting, it is a computer who is chatting or vice versa, that makes all the difference, right? So let me tell you a popular example of Turing test. In Ukraine, there was a popular chatbot called Eugene Gustman. Okay, it's an old chatbot that came in 2014, uh, but it claimed to say itself that it is a Ukraine boy who's 14 year old boy. Think of this, there is a chatbot which says, it chats with people on the internet saying it is a boy from Ukraine who's 14 years old and he chats the way a small 14 year old kid would do that, right? And there were a pa panel of judges close to six panelists who were uh, trying to cross question and challenge this bot in multiple ways and the bot managed to outperform the way they thought it would not, right? But say this particular test or the challenge was close to around uh, six hours. In the last few minutes, there were some giveaways that it was a machine and it was not a human, right? So this is like a remarkable, uh, you know, uh, situation where we are almost about to believe that it's not a computer. It's, we are almost about to believe that it's not a machine. We are almost about to believe it's a human to whom we are talking, right? So this is 2014. Right? Today, we are in 2024 and believe there's so much advancements happening in the AI world that we can't even imagine explaining, right? We have uh, something called Sora in OpenAI, right? Uh, where we give our input as a text and it becomes a video. There's an alternative that Chinese have created uh, and I'm, I'm not able to recollect the name of that particular uh, product, but Interestingly, this product is able to create a much realistic, much uh, better, much uh, clearer versions of videos based on the inputs that are merely given as a text, right? So I, I personally think this year is the year of AI. The AI era has already begun and we are already called the simulations for them right now and we may be models for those AI with which they create statistical data to recreate people like you and me, right? In case you found this information informative or useful, and if you think someone would be interested in hearing such information, consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you.